one more question. When do I change the filter and also how do I change the filter? That is a great question, Katira. Your new ionizer has a digital filter life indicator uh -huh. and when that LED reaches the top level you'll see a little filter icon flashing yeah. at you and that tells you it's time to change your filter. Let me show you how to do that. Oh, please. When it's time to change your filter, you'll access it through the filter housing door on the back of the machine. You'll begin by sliding the door up and then pulling it out from the edge and removing the housing door. Inside you'll see your old filter. It's a spring-loaded mechanism, so with fingers on the top you depress it down and pull out from the top and the filter comes out very easily. You'll notice on the bottom there's a gray filter cup. You'll need to take that off, reinstall it into the filter housing. The new filter will come in a plastic bag, remove the bag, and the little white plastic caps on either end of the filter. Now the filter should go in so that you can read the sticker and it's just the reverse procedure of taking it out. Insert the bottom into the base and it's spring loaded so push down and fit the filter in until it's in nice and snug. This is the reset button which you'll use when you power the machine up to reset your digital filter life counter. And last, we'll reinstall the filter housing door by lining up the slots on the back, pushing it in and down and into place. An important part of maintaining and protecting your ionizer is to regularly check and clean the small inline pre-filter that we attach to the small six inch piece of white hose. If you notice that your water flow has slowed down a lot and it takes you a while to fill up your water glass, it's most likely that this pre-filter is clogged. So let me show you how to, how to clean that. You'll begin by removing the inline pre-filter by releasing it like this. The filter has a rim into which the hose attaches. You push on the rim at the same time pulling the hose out and it's like that on both ends of the fitting. Then to clean the filter we simply run it under water from both ends, give it a good shake, Look through the filter and make sure there's no particulate still in the filter. If there is, we might blow on the filter, again from both ends, re-rinse it to make sure there's nothing left in there, and then reinstall the filter the same way we installed it the first time. We'll begin by pushing the filter with the arrow pointing towards the six inch piece of hose and back towards your ionizer onto the six inch line and then doing the same with the long length of white hose and giving them a good tug to make sure that they're properly seated. Again remember to do this regularly as it will greatly improve your performance. And this little thing who came with the test tube, what is this exactly? That's a spare fuse, Katira, and let me show you oh. how to change or check the fuse on your machine if you need to. Oh, practical, great. If you ever need to check or change your fuse, you'll do this by accessing the fuse holder on the back of the machine. And The first thing you'll want to do is un ensure that your machine is unplugged. Then you'll just unscrew the little black cap and remove the fuse. You may have to tip your machine to get it out. The spare fuse comes in the reagent bag. And you simply insert the, the new fuse into the fuse holder and thread the black cap 
back on, making sure that it's tight, but not too tight. There are just a few points I'd like to make in summary. Today we showed you how to do a direct installation to your tap. There are two alternate installation methods available. Please refer to your manual to find out more about these other installation methods. Secondly, refer to your manual if you have any other further questions. The manual is an excellent source of information both for troubleshooting, uses of the alkaline and acidic water, and any other information you may need or find useful. Thirdly, master and learn to use the pH reagent test kit. In various areas of the country, we have different types of tap water. Some areas have hard water, which is high in calcium and, and alkaline mineralization, and some are soft, which are very low in those types of minerals. And this affects the performance of your ionizer dramatically. So learn to use that test kit and calibrate the level of pH that you're drinking. Fourth, remember when you first start drinking alkaline water to ramp the alkalinity level up slowly. Start at a level one, stay there for four to seven days to let your body adjust. Then you can move up to a level two, another adjustment period of four to seven days. And after this adjustment period is complete, then you can experiment with the higher levels of alkalinity. And lastly, remember to protect your investment by changing your filter regularly and cleaning the small inline filter. It removes very easily and you simply rinse it out under the, under the faucet just as we showed you in the video. So remember to do that and you'll ensure many years of long happy use with your ionizer. Mm -hmm.